Bon Jovi is one of those bands that, to me, has proven themselves again and again that they can evolve over time with their sound. They started off in the 1980s as a hard rock, almost hair metal sounding band. And over the course of the late 80s into the 90s and 2000s, they evolved their sound to a more of a, a easy listening rock act over time. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the rest of their cat, the rest of their catalog, but they have a really. If you listen to them, like from like 2000 and up, from like it's my life and up, it really does show the progression of how they've gone from like a where their heyday when their most popular time period was in the 80s, how they've evolved over time to what they're today. As well, I would call them as a easy listening, easy listening rock act, which is I'm surprised to this day because you listen to Living on a Prayer on like adult contemporary stations nowadays. It's crazy. But uh, even you love you love bad name, but um, you know, but Bon Jovi they they they, they put out a brand new album in uh, twenty twenty four, and we're gonna review it here. So it's just, my, and I I'm I'm a big fan of them. I've I've always enjoyed their music, no matter what. I mean, John is a very talented lyricist to begin with. He always tells stories in his music more than anything else. Um, but no, this is a new album, and I gotta tell you guys right up front, I was very uh intrigued for lack of a better word, by this album. Uh, this is a very step... This is, I would say it's a step in a unique direction for Bon Jovi. I mean, it's very... Um, it is very adult contemporary-ish. It's very... Um, uh, it's it's much more of the storyteller aspect in it. Um, but I'm just... Uh, it's, it's an album that is... As an overall album, I think you can enjoy it maybe once or twice over. I, I know some people who are personally who are like, I've listened to this probably like 25 times over. And like, this is like a really just solid record for them. They really enjoyed it for what it was worth. And they enjoyed, they had singles off it too at the time, that, you know, whatever. But for me, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it's not something that I, uh, it's not something, anything super special. It's not anything super duper. Uh, I, would I go back to the whole album in a year from now maybe not would i go back to probably five or six of the hits the singles or just select tracks in general probably yeah me personally um let's get into it shall we so all and um, we, we go to the we, we check out the wikipedia page every single time we do this so just sit back and relax and listen um but all tracks are produ- are written and produced by john john bon jovi and john shanks except for uh certain songs on the track listing so and i'll go into each one specifically in a second but the track listing is as follows uh, legendary we made it look easy living proof waves seeds kiss the bride the people's house walls of jericho i wrote you a song living in paradise my first guitar and hollow man 12 songs 48 minutes and 41 seconds um track listing for now, I, one out of 10 for me goes like this legendary yeah you know, it's been on XM radio a lot lately here in the States. It's been on the pulse. It's on the, it's been played on the Bon Jovi radio channel a lot. This is actually a 7.5 out of 10 for me. Um, I really enjoyed the track. I like it a lot. It's, it's definitely something that I would go back to. No doubt. Um, it's definitely one of those tracks where I would definitely go back to it a lot more than I thought I would. And I, I don't want to reiterate myself too much here, but his voice you can definitely tell it's changed since the 2018, 2019 tour and the 2022 tour that he did as well. Um, and I'm sure Kyle and Mike will share their take on his voice as well, too, when we get to that. But um, we made it look easy. This is about a four. Uh, f- f- I'm sorry, five out of ten. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at my, my notes the wrong way. Uh, five out of ten for we made it look easy. It's not bad, but the reason why I, it brought it down for me to a down to a five was because Ryan Tedder is one of the co-writers of this track. Ryan Tedder is an overrated, completely useless piece of crap writer in the music industry, and I do not like him whatsoever. In fact, I saw him live by accident. He came out randomly at a show that I was at, and I was very disappointed. I was actually the only one booing him. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Um, he is He just produces things and writes things and doesn't cut the way I'd like it to. So that's why we made it look easy for me. It's like a five, and it would it would, it would have gone up had he had not been there. Um, Living Proof, a great example of classic Bon Jovi track. This is a, an action 8 out of 10. Uh, it brought back the talk box, which is something they haven't had since It's My Life and Living on a Prayer way back when. So they brought back the talk box uh, feature on that song, um, you know, um, for Living Proof. It's I, I like it a lot, actually. It, it does. It, it's very good. 8 out of 10 for that one. Uh, and, and it's only written by bon jo- John Bon Jovi and John, and, uh, John Shanks, who um, has been in the band now for some time. He's with a producer for the record, too. Um, waves. I'm sitting at about a 
Waves track number four. I'm sitting at a probably about a what what I have here. Like, like honestly, I probably a six. It's not super special. It's nothing too crazy. And the chorus, I'm, I got Bon Jovi's known for their choruses throughout their songs. So there's no doubt in my mind that like the a lot of these songs are very catchy choruses. Um, but it's just very very mid. Uh, it, it, like I said, it's about a six out of ten. It's nothing super crazy. Seeds in a very similar boat here. Uh, actually, I had this out of four uh, about. A, a 4.5 could go up to a five mainly because tedder's back in the picture and michael pollock is in the picture too not a fan of michael pollock whatsoever he's one of the co-writers on this track michael pollock is a song is a has co-written so many really mediocre songs throughout his career he actually for those of you who don't know I'm not, michael pollock actually co-wrote a lot of songs he started out his career as a billy joel fanboy i don't think i knew this he actually performed with joel uh, out of college, and he's went on to become a, a quote unquote successful uh, songwriter. He's re- he's co written songs from Maroon Five, Lizzo, you name it. But he's not that great. He's kind of like the the wannabe Ryan Tedder in the picture. And Ryan Tedder's not that good to begin with, in my opinion. So, um, but Tedder and Pollock both wrote both with the track. That's why I put it kind of low. Um, to me, Bon Jovi is best when they just the band writes songs and no one else. Uh, maybe Billy Falcon, maybe John Shanks in the interest of the picture. That's about it. But to me, Ryan Tedder and Michael Pollock stay away, stay away whatsoever. Um, Kiss the Bride is actually nine out of ten. I really love this track, and it's 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 it shows it really is a, another testament of how this band has evolved over time to how they've come from a hard rock sound or '90s rock sound or a adult contemporary sound to really writing a just beautiful songs about how life can touch you in different ways. And I love this track. Billy Falcon and John Bon Jovi did a fantastic job with this. This is a nine out of 10. I could actually see it at like people using it at weddings. Kid you not. Um, it's that uh, beautiful in my opinion. So that's the kiss. The bride is a nine out of 10. The people's house written, just written by John Bon Jovi himself. Like seven, nothing too crazy or nothing too special. Um, it's nothing specifically, very you know entertaining but it's, it's it's there it's a seven out of ten walls of jericho i'm saying about probably a 6.5 maybe seven and this is kind of where the album kind of like solely goes down in quality a little bit for me it tracks eight through twelve now it's i'm not saying they're bad i'm just saying for me that you could hear that you could hear the quality go down slowly over the over the next few songs so walls of jericho is about a um uh, as I said, uh, uh, yeah, what did I say? A six. I've, 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 I've lost my track. I'm losing my train of thought, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, a five out of ten for this one. It's, it's not bad, but it's not great. Again, and this is kind of where we start to peter down a little bit. Um, I I wrote you a song as a, another five, and it, like it's not bad. It's kind of it's cute. It's touchy, but it's nothing special. Living in paradise uh, goes back up a little bit to a six, mainly because, uh, and I when I first saw the songwriting credit, I didn't realize that it, actually Ed Sheeran was even on the record. Um, but Ed Sheeran co-wrote this with John Bon Jovi. Apparently, they're buddy buddies. Apparently, I don't know if you guys ever knew that, but JBJ and Ed Sheeran are um, Teddy's photos. Are buddy buddies? Apparently, and they wrote this song. Uh, it's it's a six for me. It's nothing too. You know, it's not bad, but it's not. It, it's towards the end of the it's it's toward the end of the album, and it just it starts to peter off from this point on. But it's because Ed Sheeran's involved, and I like Ed Sheeran's writing overall. Uh, I'm gonna give that a six. My first guitar and Hollow Man, I'm just, we're just going to bunch together a, a solid like five out of 10 for both of them. Uh, nothing too crazy or nothing too special. And I, I, I would actually say, just, just to kind of close off here, this album is very front loaded with a lot of the songs. And then the last, the second half just kind of like peters off quite a bit and it's kind of pick and choose towards the end there. Um, but none, nonetheless, I mean, it's a new Bon Jovi album. So if you're going, and I, I've said this a lot sometimes, but if you're going into a Bon Jovi album, Nowadays, in the last 20 to 25 years, you're not going to get the uh, 20 years. You're not going to get the hard rock Bon Jovi for the most part. You'll get probably like, you know, more adult contemporary Bon Jovi. You might get more you know, some hard guitar here and there. Like I know Beautiful Drug on 2020 was an example of that. But and Do What You Can was about like COVID at the time and stuff. But he wrote documented that stuff, too. But overall, though, I'm going to say that Bon Jovi's forever. Honestly, guys, I'm sitting about a, like a. Like a seven out of ten. It's nothing. It's kind of what I expected, but the hit singles kind of brought it up a little bit. But the rest of the, the other tracks are just not adding too much to it for me. About a seven out of ten for this one. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's definitely very. He's coming into his own, and, I, and I'm just gonna say this the way it is. His voice is done. I, I I don't see how he could tour any 
further at all, to be honest with you guys. He's just he's just come he's come a long way in his life. And his voice, if you guys watch that, I don't know if you guys saw the Hulu documentary or not, the for his the, for the Bon Jovi documentary. But apparently they were going into in specific super detail about his voice over the past couple of years and how it's really just been like not like breaking, but it's just it's not doing what he could he couldn't be doing because it's been hurting because on he was on his 2022 tour and there were so many nights where people just left early because it was just unbearable and he was really hurting his vocal cords that way so he he did have surgery i found out and he is trying his best to recover but i mean this if this is what he's going to put out in the 2020s if not further down the line then i'm fine with it but i'm sure not everyone is uh it, like i said it's a seven out of ten for me it's something super special but something super great um i'm sitting about a seven could go up to 7.5 on any given good day but 7 out of 10 for me.